Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we're going to use Metabox and Bricks to create an ebook page with preview and download buttons. For this practice, I have a demo ebook page with the available template built by Bricks like this. On this page, I'll create two buttons. One is to download a PDF file. And the other button is to view the information from the file. Each ebook will be a post in a custom post type. There is some information which is all basic on the page. The name of the ebook and its image are the title and featured image of the post. For the PDF file, we'll use a custom field created by Metabox to save it. To create a custom post type and custom fields, we have Metabox here. Moreover, we'll need some advanced features of Metabox so you can download its extensions individually or use Metabox all in one. Here are the extensions that we will use in this practice. MB Custom Post Type to create a custom post type for the ebooks. And, Metabox Builder to have an UI on the backend to create custom fields easily. As mentioned, I built the page with Brick Builder, so I have it here. Let's create a post type for the ebooks. I'll use a custom field to store the PDF file of the ebook. Here choose the file advanced type to save this kind of data. After creating the field, move to the Settings tab, choose Location as Post Type, and select eBook to apply this field to this post type. Go to the Post Editor, you will see the created custom field. Then, just fill in the information, and upload a file. Here are some ebooks that I created as examples. I already have an archive page that displays all the ebooks along with some detailed information like this. I'd like to add a download button and a preview button to this place. First, add a new div for the download button. In this div, choose the HTML tag as a link. This makes the button clickable. Then, select the type of link as dynamic data to have the option to connect this div to a custom field. In this case, it's PDF upload. To allow users to download the file from the button, we should add an attribute to this div. This is an HTML attribute. I'm adding CSS classes to style the button. Now, add the basic text element to name the button. For the preview button, do the same with the download button. So just duplicate this div. Rename it as well. Keep the type of HTML tag as a link and connect with the PDF upload field. If you want to display the PDF file in a new tab of the browser when clicking this preview button, turn on this option. Also change the CSS classes to have a different style with the download button. Finally, this is just previewing, so remove the attribute that we used for downloading. Now we have two buttons. Change the spacing a little bit then you get the final look of them. Go to the page on front end. You can click the buttons for testing. They work well as you can see. That's all for the tutorial today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye.